I failed. The heart of the gate is dead. We need to see my father. He should know what happened with Ansel. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. I was returning from Elturel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest, to lay our heads. It wasn't the heat that woke me. It was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. I don't remember being taken. Just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. If only Floric. Oh, hells. Floric. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worm's Rock Prison. She stood by me even as the hell's fires lapped at my feet. <laughs> you must free her. Tremendous news. She proves as loyal to you as she is to me. I couldn't bear it if she died by my command. May the Triad guide her steps. Please. Floric's a great friend to me, and a great friend to the city. She'll make a stalwart ally for you. A terrible fate for Ansel, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I failed, father. The worm is fallen. A terrible fate for Ansel, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I don't understand. You and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the great answer. You are stronger than even the great worm. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, Lord Answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the absolute then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed Heart of the Gate. Grand Duke? I look the part of a fiend. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction will he travel? Will? I fought to right the wrongs of the coast. To slay the men and monsters that hunt the helpless. It is in the wilds that I find my courage, not in the halls of upper city estates. There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. Then go with my blessing. Be Faerun's great defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. Let these be the lights that guide you, my son. Hail the Blade of Avernus. The Blade of Avernus. A calm settles over you. The Elder Brain is a menace, but with the Blade of Avernus at your side, you know you can triumph. The Devil's stench lingers, but Will is yet a champion of the people. I had hoped he'd join me on the council, but he is his own man. I couldn't be prouder. Gods, can it be? The man who raised the city's walls, 
became an Alithid. You both know you owe your lives to me. I am not fallen. I am risen. We must make this a secret we carry beyond the grave. No name is more sacred to the city than Baldurans. Not even mine. When people think his name or see his likeness, they must imagine a hero. Not a horror. How misguided you are. A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's High Overseer. Only for the Archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I've been touched by Avernus. Been a plaything for demons. A tale for other places. Other days. The Blade of Avernus. How marvelous. It rolls right off the tongue. Tell me, little bug, who should Will's first target be? Yes, to kill the Absolute. To free the infected, to end the illithid grand design. Could there be a more heroic journey? But what about the next battle? And the next? How mighty will the stalwart blade be without warlock powers to help him? Tell me you haven't forgotten. Once the Absolute is no more, so is my aid. Well... Perhaps I might pay a visit once he's settled. Offer some advice. A bit of infernal altruism, if you will. Ah, the thrill of the unknown. I can't wait to see how this epic plays out. The Blade of Avernus. A new name for a changed man. The four pillars finally rise within me. Courage. Insight, strategy, justice. I'm not to abide them, but to become them. Ah, but enough reflection for today. I'm of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? Wonderful. Uh, you hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a la blade. Let's hope Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties, just the once. I scout both the Hells and the Coast's Havens, and I destroy every fiend that dares put its eye on Faerun. dedicated to one lord Stay for a walk. Perhaps you should start. Oh, you can tell all sorts with technology these days. I'm 
Tamarin ain't a good mason. No, it's not. What's the point of a story without an ending? A book's are all about the truth. Obviously. I know, right? Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Laroakin, the wizard who set out the contract, he owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in, get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah, beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring him back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. Especially if you found the relic. And Asima. Hells. If I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. Immortal, eh? Interesting. Won't be easy getting her back to the wizard. But if you don't do it, someone else will. Hope you hit her well, mate. You! What are you doing here? Nothing for you to worry about. His voice catches. Something's wrong here. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. You must be mistaken. The Night Song is a relic, something quite ancient to hear Master Laroakin talk. But if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find the way into his tower up there. How can I help you? Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for. Please. 
magical hoo-ha. Gail would love it here. Gold, it's all about profits, my love. Welcome, Dip. If you have let your not. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet. It is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Oh, his end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. What have we here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My god. The Night Song is a person. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a wealth without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <laughs> Dame Aelin. I have discovered a device 
that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years? You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asima, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lorokan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Put your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum!
tormented. Let's cut with fire, baby. Roican. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken! by its beauty!
light on my feet. Firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... sadness. Why? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, tiefling, you did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Hmm. The Rurikin is dead. The bastard is dead. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night, he'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. I could have killed him with my own two hands. But I kept thinking it was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. I have, with your considerable help. I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I do indeed. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this, the tower, my family, without you. What can I do to thank you? I will. I will be the ruler of Ramazeth's tower they deserve, not some vicious recluse who hides from the world. Myself and this tower are now your allies. When the time comes, we will stand by you however necessary. Sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Here goes nothing. I am to brow. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say taxi. To learn more about the search for the night song, say night song. To learn more about Master Leroican, say Leroican. To learn more about my go Welcome back to Sorceress Sundries. How can I help? Enjoy our unmatched selection.
Giselle and her allies. Can they be trusted? You ask the wrong question. You've come. Have you brought the Orphic Hammer? The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Among the Githyanki, one gift is esteemed above all others. The Silver Sword. Take it. Wield it in honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik. Now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the Astral Prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The Prince of the Comet will sear the heavens again. First we'll defeat the Absolute, then we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Even if you could, you would relinquish your mind to the Elder Brain in so doing. When I am done with the Gith Princeling, you may do with him as you like, but not a moment before. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Istik, friend to Orpheus. Together we will end the Elder Brain which shakes this city. Then I turn my sights to Vlakith, the Queen of Deceit. You break Prince Orpheus free. His psionic cry will alert us. I will fly to your side. Amigos. Together, you will fell the Elder Brain and fall the How much farther can I go? I can sneak in. The security shouldn't be too tight. A few charm in this maybe. This is the palace of Kazador Zar. Entry is forbidden. Leave now, citizen. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She must be one of the charmed thralls Astarian mentioned. Of course. Whatever the Master desires. Enter freely. And of your own will. Another visitor? Stein Long? The others are. Guests came for a party. Never left, though. Don't know what happened to them. Don't want to know. But I'm sure you're different. I'm sure you'll be fine. 
Astarian. Vampire dens. What should I expect? Vampires would be a safe bet. Well... Master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might have fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. The writing means... There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Cazador's. We were strictly forbidden from learning it. So much to do. So much to prepare. and innards are more liquid than solid. Let's have a look. Master, so well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. It's too late. Godi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. 
Casador gave the key to Godi. And where is this sadistic old sack of bones? It does not matter. You're too late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. I do not have any more time to waste. There is too much to do, too much to prepare. That door is shattering. It's so weak. There's necrotic magic at work here. Are a Everything's with haste. Behold, one of the Casador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary. Looks like an ambush. So, so you've come home, little one. And come to visit Godi in your old kennel. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? A new friend for Godi. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? We're here to see the master, but the ballroom door's locked. Uh, give us the key. <laughs> no, no, it is too late. The doors are sealed on master's orders. Godi will not open them for anyone, much less for you. The master will not be disobeyed. You will not open that door. Breathing. 
despite everything. remains sealed. The ring slots perfectly into place, but nothing happens. However, you get a feeling from the door as if it expects something else. A strange writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Perhaps it's significant. sealed with naught to see but the ring slot a strange right
seen this language before. The door remains sealed. Looking closer, you recognize... The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. be here. No one in. No one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. We bring you to him. We get his favor.
Something good here, I hope. On my way. Here goes nothing. <laughs> 